in LA recording our fourth record and we're at the Steakhouse Studios. It's an awesome place. I mean, the weather's amazing out today, so I think it's little things like that that made us want to come somewhere like LA, just that when we wake up, the weather's good, the vibe is nice. It's so pretty much from the start, as soon as I got here, I was like excited and that hasn't really died down yet, so. LA is just such a fun, crazy place anyway. It feels very creative being here just because it's full of all the creative industries. I just feel like kind of lucky to be here recording this album and it all helps with the vibe, all helps with the, the process. And I think everyone feels the same way really about that. This studio is awesome. It's definitely the best like vibe we've had recording. I think like a, a few factors, just like we're staying close by. The fact that you don't feel like, you know, we can't have a break, I need to work is, is great. This studio in particular is awesome, it's like so spacious and just there's always like an area you can just chill and it's such a good like um, control room where everyone just hangs out in there and you can just like give ideas or just goof around or do nothing, it's good. Um, it was our first time working with a producer um, and it was the first time I've had like conversations about drums um, and like if there's a better option or like sound wise or like actual parts so at first it was almost like okay I, mean, I was always down to like try but I was like yeah I mean I'll try it and then a lot of it actually sticks and you're like oh, oh that's cool and then and then you get used to the idea of taking direction from someone and then you start basically just like working together Colin's been really cool helping us with uh, arrangement ideas when we first came in we like show the songs and he'd been to listen to some parts and be like I think it's better if maybe we shorten this bit here or extend this bit or this bit needs to be like way louder like or needs to have more intensity so it's been nice to work with someone who knows what we want and I don't know has a really good insight for making our songs the best they can be. Okay, okay. Don't even try to play the triplet. You don't uh, three and four and okay. I think the triplet's okay. what's messing it up. Okay. Way closer, just see if you can get a little tighter. Almost. Well, we know that's the sound. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was into that. So, the vibe so far has been great. Uh, Alex and Colin have been great with like trying to help us get tones. We've got a library of amps at our disposal, every pedal I've ever heard of. Some some interesting tones that I didn't think I'd ever like the sound of. I've gotten certain songs that I didn't think would need that kind of sound, which is cool. So there's been plenty of time for uh, sonic explorations, if you will. Um, getting bass tones with, with Colin was um, it was really really cool because I've never had in like the recording environment that kind of direction with tone before. Before I've kind of like had an, uh, like a tone in my head, but then I haven't really known how to get there. But Colin's really good at being like, right, let's try this, plug this in, use this effect that I would never in a million years think of using, and then he'll plug it in and they'll be like, it'll click. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's it. What were you using, Dunk? Uh, using what year is the Ampeg again? Sixteen hundred seventy. Ampeg SVT, a uh, full tone MOSFET bass drive. Please start making those again. Uh, are we using the Aguilar tone hammer at all? For the DI. For the DI. And One most pedal. importantly, you're using your your precious fingers, which they're only two Priceless. <laughs> Come for value on these. <laughs> Hell yeah. Pierre. Pierre Mon Funk. Pierre Mon Funk. P Funk. P-Funk. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, P-Funk. Where, where are we at right now? We, we're in, uh, we're like, what location are we in? No, it's in like where... I know what, what you uh, mean. What, okay. We're in, uh, we're about, I, I'd say we're even halfway through mm -hmm. right now. We've gone past two today? weeks. Today's, Today's the, Wednesday. Yeah, 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 we two weeks in one day. Okay. As far as the band goes, this is now the longest, or... Tomorrow will be the longest we've ever recorded for. Fantastic. <laughs> so, and we're still so, like halfway through. So at this point, usually it's um, it's where everyone's freaking out about having all the bits finished. Right. So the fact now, like, when you were saying earlier that I get to go back and listen and think about not only 
what we're going to layer, but how it's going to be layered, whether it be with a different vocalist or right. like all oh, that's just that's cool. You guys came in with some great songs too, so it was like already the writing process was was basically done. I think when you guys got here, so it wasn't really any. It was just sort of like let's just record. All right, done see that you later. For a while. Bye, JC. Yeah. Um, yeah, we tried very hard to get as prepared as possible. Yeah, we've I was been listening. writing for a while. I think most of us had an idea of whether or not it's the band as a whole, the record as a whole, or each individually, we, we had, I think, something to aim for this time. Sure. Which we haven't really been able to do before, which I think is cool. So yeah. hopefully that will <laughs> kind of show. I it think. definitely has showed, okay. I think. I mean, you know, I'm, I've been a fan of, of this band for like a long time, so I think that I know, I've heard a lot of your records and I know that um, where you guys have sort of come from. I feel like this is like a really great continuation extending into the, the next chapter of the basement life, you know. Cool. Thanks. So. <laughs> Crab, I think you're finished, right? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Is he? Oh, holy shit. No way. Wait, Wait, you did yeah. too, Red? Woo! Okay, hold on, hold on, turn it up now. Bongo magic! Yeah, that's pretty cool! <laughs>